Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, When Tay Talk. I am Tay, and I am here for another segment of uh, Here We Go With The Bush. Y'all, here we go with the bush, okay? Y'all, don't y'all mind my big head tail. This wig is so big. This is my little Wanda wig, the show enough wig. I had to put me a little piece on top of it today because it's so big and swells. I shouldn't, I don't think I should have got it at this density, but it's also like yakky um, hair. So um, it's not like as straight as I want it to be. Say hi, Cookie. You look like Alfalfa. Hmm. It is Black History Month. Hmm. Say bye. Okay, let me hurry up and record this mess before I go and get my grandbaby. She's been stalking the hell out of me, okay? So, y'all, we got some mess on the line. Something is going on with Carlos and Melody, okay? In my opinion, let me, oh, let me get the good stuff out. Everything on the channel is alleged, and in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes, oh, okay please like this video subscribe to the channel and also click the bell notification so that you know each and every time that your girl upload a new video okay and share the video with family friends enemies and frenemies whomever you are like okay play the play the video in your dreams because it's an obsession going on and eh, okay let's go so yes y'all it's clear to me, moi, that Melody and Carlos got beef. Okay? The Melometers is on them raindrops. Carlos, stop it. First, I want him to stop it with this raindrop shit. The only Fans are millimeters, are Mel's fans. Nobody on the show has fans. You guys are fans of each other, okay? The only raindrops it is is the snots. And you, Carlos, you. No one is around here proclaiming to be a, a raindrop. Maybe Dr. Heavenly. I haven't even heard her confess that she a raindrop. So stop saying it. Okay? So, we know this lying mofo, in my opinion, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, my opinion, okay? Then went on, um, well, him and, um, Dr. Heavenly had their podcast yesterday and they wanted to clear up some stuff. Now, I don't know if it's me, but it seems like Carlos don't have a voice until he get in front of somebody else until he, he can't say abusive things to black women until he's with another black woman that's gonna back him with his bullshit, okay? And let's 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 get into it, okay? Because y'all know I like Doctor Heavenly, but Doctor Heavenly, you on that bullshit, and you need to stop. Like, stop it. If you're not gonna even waste your time watching the show or watching the shit that's going on, quit commenting on it, okay? Stop commenting on it. Those people not inboxing you and all that shit for no damn reason. Those people not saying that shit for no damn reason. It's happening. And Carlos is sitting here lying in your damn face and you know it. Allegedly.
don't stop the shit. Stop the shit. I'm going to play it on my phone because I feel like that might be a little bit too low. Um, and I don't want to hear y'all damn complaining in the damn comments, okay? They had this plan. Oh, Carlos, let me bring huh? up. Now, Carlos, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I know it's not true. So I'm going to put it out there. You ain't striking nobody channels. Because you, they keep emailing me and texting me huh? for channels. So clean that up. Tell the people you ain't striking nobody channels. You people put stuff out there and they believe it. Well, and, that's, well, exactly. Because listen, you know how this industry works. They want to believe the worst about you. Because they, they want to say like, ooh, we got something on. Why the fuck would we want to believe the worst about somebody? We're not talking about people in the industry. We're talking about people that's watching this show, people that's watching this shit that they're doing on social media. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about no damn body in no industry, Carlos. You're talking about everyday people. And everyday people all just ain't came up and made this shit up about you. And the way that you said, uh huh. Who else voice goes into Mickey Mouse when they're lying? Hotel? What? What are you talking about? So you want to play a game of semantics and play on people's intelligence, Carlos? Because I'm quite sure that content creator was not fucking lying when she showed the strike that had your raggedy ass name on it. We're not lying when we seen Discovery do the strikes on us. It had Discovery. The ones you did or your assistant did or whoever did it on your behalf, it was done on your behalf and it was done from your fucking account. So why the hell are you sitting here saying it didn't happen? So you saying she made that up? Why would she make that up on you? And I heard it was like 22. I done heard it a couple numbers, but 15 to 22 content creators you struck. And, and listen to this bullshit. And said to you guys in nauseam that content creators and bloggers are the reason why our show are successful. My raindrops know that at the end of the day, there's people out there who want to believe the worst about me. Now, what I will say is I did a live podcast with Melody, Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers. Yeah, well, her, 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 right, that's her. Right, right. We know what the fuck it was. And again, what do people have to gain to thinking the worst about you unless you're doing that? Nobody just woke up and said, you know what? I'm about to get a group of people to think the worst of Carlos King. It don't make sense just saying it out loud and it don't make sense when your bucket head ass said it, Carlos. Stop fucking playing. So now you did the podcast, the road trip, so you can re put it on your, drop it on your YouTube channel. So you recorded it. It was a fucking public event 
that people pay to come to. So when I came on Mel's, um, when I came on Mel's live, I think it was December or early January, she said they were filming it giving me the clue that she had her contract for filming. So she said, Carlos said they were filming it. He didn't say for his motherfucking podcast to put on damn YouTube. Because if that was the case, what you recorded, you can put on YouTube. But what they recorded, because they paid to fucking be there, they can put on YouTube as well. That means you don't have, this is not a network thing. Since you putting it like this. A few people, want, a few people uploaded my paid for podcast. That they the fucking show. pay for. You see what I'm saying? I don't need to drop it. Before I drop it, when I drop my podcast interviews on Tuesday, everyone takes it. Everyone takes, and I don't, I don't care. That helps me promote it. You lying. What happened was we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview and I am going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. Why the fuck you didn't been uploaded? This, that shit happened the 21st of January. It's the 21st of February. So why you didn't been um, drop it? And why when you had those people there and you recommended them not record it, it was a recommendation. It wasn't a mandate. You didn't make them take their phones. You didn't you didn't make them sign anything to say that they would not release this footage. So the footage that they captured was there. So it don't matter what the fuck they was doing when they was there. Because they paid that money to be there and paid them fucking eight dollars for that damn processing fees. Beyond paying the fees to get there and all of that shit. With your slick ass. And now you trying to lie. I was, I'm putting it out next week. You ain't never put out no promotion. So what the fuck you about to put out. When you was dropping this, foot, this footage next week. But I got a theory. About why it's going to be on that podcast. And not on that show. And I'll get to it at the end of this damn shit right here. They were in doing that and enjoying the damn show because they paid for it. And they uploaded it, and that is what the issue was. But again, doesn't that make sense? You can't you can't record Married to Medicine and upload on YouTube channel and not. Married to Medicine didn't invite the fucking public there to uh, an event and made them pay to come to the fucking event and then not de- tell them that they had they couldn't record or ask you know recommended that they not record because if somebody comes to a married to medicine event whoever the fuck is caught on camera whoever is in that damn scene can have to sign off on being on that footage right correct. So don't compare your funky ass podcast to a damn network show. That's how you try to make a damn excuse for something that they don't even align together. Those two things don't even match Carlos. So why are you using it? And yet you didn't strike them yet. You're proceeding to tell us about why they were struck, but you didn't do it. The Carlos that's about to put it on a podcast next week is the one that did it. Not this Carlos that we see before us today that's on Dr. Heavenly's show. Expect the NBC Universal to strike it and say, guys, if you want to. It's funny that he mentioned that. that. So that's all. Awesome. It's funny that he mentioned US um NBC Universal or whatever. Because Discovery struck our shit. But the way that they did ours, it was just a takedown to remove the pieces that they put in there. You could have did those strikes and just requested for them to take them down. And then if they didn't take it down, then you could have struck them. You just struck. Someone took that and said, Carlos is a hater. He's he's striking black people who are blogging. He's, 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 He's striking people who... 
they they didn't say that. That ain't what the fuck they said, Carlos. They said your ass striking black women bloggers. That's millimeters. That's what the fuck what was said. They ain't say shit about striking black people. They said striking black fucking women. That's bloggers. That's millimeters. That's what the fuck we said. And, and nobody said it was because we was talking about you. They said because you let you, they, they used that fucking footage and you're fucking jealous of Melody. That's what they said. They didn't say shit about because we was talking about your ass. I want to have a job. There you have it. Marjorie Taylor Greene said she wanted to talk about me. And, I'm, and, and let's be clear, I'm not mad at it. Mm-hmm. 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 But, but, but there you go. But again, again, that's. We're not clear. Because in order for you to strike that shit, you had some type of feelings. Because again, you could have did a fucking strike. You could have get a strike, a removal request for the footage. Because what you filmed and what they had on their page is two different fucking things. So it didn't have one didn't have nothing to do with the other. So you striking their fucking page means that your wicked ass had fucking evil intents from the fucking beginning. And I hope they fight it because to be honest, since you plan on putting the shit on your fucking YouTube channel, this shit is motherfucking free game. Free game. But there you go. But again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and try to make it seem like I'm this horrible person. And, and that's not the case. And I know you're not. And the, and the, and you know that, Dr. Heavenly. We don't fucking know that. Because we very much so think he's a fucking horrible person. Next thing is, and I don't even know why this is a thing. They say that you recruited me for Marceau's event, uh, the Black Expo. And they keep calling it Expo. I don't know why they call it Expo, but it's... Before we get on that, let's touch on him saying the... Um, it was, it was filmed on his podcast. So first it was being filmed with the show, with his production company. Now it's going on his podcast. Okay? So with that being said, if that was the intent from the begin, then why were you telling people to not show what you said your special surprise was? Why were you telling people not to say who the special surprise was? For one, as if we would give a fuck who the the hell Sunshine or Sunny Bean or I don't know what the hell the girl name is and Moses that they was that they was there. We don't give a fuck about them. So it's a surprise. We don't give a fuck. Okay. Secondly. You said that for it to not be on the show. So if, if they released a surprise, then it would, they wouldn't air it. So since that unsurprise was released or whatever, um, does that mean that they're not going to, sh- that's why they're not showing it on the show and you're choosing to put it on your podcast because you a bitch ass. Is that what it is? Carlos King. What is this? Because it doesn't make any fucking sense to me that you got them under the premise that it was being filmed for the show. Now all of a sudden it's just going on your podcast and you're striking people. They been had Amazon on there, Dr. Heavenly, so shut the fuck up. This is what we know about some reality fans. Not all some, and I love I love them all. You have a very small few reality fans who take this too far and it impacts people's personal lives. If you don't like somebody Ain't these motherfuckers supposed to be filming their personal lives? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but, but there you go. But... Wait a 
Again, 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 that's the truth. People rant with it and try to, some of y'all go way too far. I'm going to go back a little bit. One second. I keep making a mistake and switching my thing. Amazon not paying you, Dr. Heavenly. Shut the hell up. Because Amazon been on the motherfucking flyer. If if they had shit else, they had them and the fucking flyer and, and Amazon on that damn flyer. They have no date. They ain't have no fucking location. None of that shit. No time. None of that. But they had Amazon. So they been had Amazon on there. And Amazon not paying you to go speak at that damn event. Show the proof. Why are you bringing up Melody when this is not Melody's event? I think I got to go back a little bit. I would, I would be like, what are y'all doing? It's not okay to do, help me. That's not okay. If my... That's fine. What 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 is so deplorable and karma's going to get your ass, it be baby, yeah. But, but there you go. But again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and try to make it seem like I'm this horrible person, and and that's not the case. And I know you're not. And the, ex, the ex, next thing is, and I don't even know why this is a thing. They say that you recruited me for Marceau's event, uh, the Black Expo, and they keep calling it Expo. I don't know why they call it Expo, but it's a Black Business Expo, right? Amazon yeah. has backed that event. That's why I'm in it because Amazon yeah. actually. This is what we know about some reality fans. Not all some, and I love I love them all. You have a very small few reality fans who take this too far, and it impacts people's personal lives. If you don't like somebody on TV, that's cool. If you if you don't like me, that's fine. What 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 is so deplorable, and karma's gonna get your ass. Is Carlos, who the fuck you think you are trying to curse somebody with karma? Because it seems like you getting your fucking karma now. That's why you so upset. It does bother you. You don't have to keep saying it don't. Because as many times as you say it don't, you're proving it does. You care. And you personally contact people, the businesses, the brands, the police, and do all these things. And you're trying to attack them in their personal lives. When you watch a TV show. Carlos. I don't know if your gopher looking ass realize that you doing a fucking reality show. So we all up and through their personal lives, motherfucker. Like, are you kidding me? This is their personal life because they're on a reality show. So we can do what the fuck we want to do. If you had them show their real lives, nobody would look up any damn thing because we'll start trusting what you're saying. We'll start trusting what the hell you put now. But why the fuck are you mad at that? If it was legit when people call, it wouldn't be a motherfucking thing, would it? Because if I say I am, I'm the president of Amazon, if somebody called Amazon and asked to speak to the president and they put wouldn't take talk on the phone, I wouldn't give a fuck who called up here. Okay? But you have a problem with it because you know what the fuck y'all putting out ain't true. And you can't tell nobody what the fuck they can or cannot do as far as the information you fucking providing. So since you keep fucking providing falsehoods, we are going to find the fucking truth and put it out there. And we got to call, we can do investigations on what the hell we want to. You ain't had no problem with, with, with that hermit. Remember the line hermit? You ain't had 
had no problem with him calling that damn attorney's office. Was karma waiting on them? When they called that attorney office that Marceau and them sent them that cease and desist? Did, was that too far? The way that Herman was talking to that, to that lady, to that lawyer? Or when the barber, barber guy and <clears throat> the esthetician came on the Hermit show and tried to create a storyline of fraud that didn't exist? Was, was, was that, what was that? What was that, Carlos? Why you, why your, your friend or your old friend, why was okay for your old hermit to go on his channel and say all, or his, her, whatever the fuck he referred to, okay? Why, why when they was on there spewing all that shit and, and calling and had recordings and all of that shit, we ain't hear shit from you. Why when that hermit had information on your show and was acting like he was going to release it? Why, 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 why wasn't no words like this coming out about that? Huh? Why, why, why the hermit new best friend, original straight no chaser, why none of her shit ever got struck? So should she strike y'all ass for using her picture off of her page? Maybe she can because I don't know where all them damn videos at. But why didn't the hermit or the hermit's new best friend get any strikes, any reprimands, any type of feedback rebuttals about going too fucking far? It seems like you care because that's what the fuck we doing. And thanks to you, that ain't all we get to do because we got to investigate every fucking thing you put on your show because it's always some bullshit. So you sitting up here crying about that? Tisha sitting on TV crying about, well, we're still trying to help the community tea and, and, we come and they just call on us. If the shit was legit, who would give a fuck? Police, come on. Oh, you want to come in? Come here. Come on. You can see what's going on up in here. Ain't nothing going on in the people but a charity event. Come on. We got our paperwork right here. Here go to, yep. Paperwork. You know, here. Here's the, the lease, the license for this part. Here's the ordinance. Yes, here. here's my paperwork for this. We, this, all this, yeah. Charity, whatever. Here it is. That's how you do that. Why would Melody put out something or an event or something like that? Don't nobody call and report her. Because her shit is legit. Why she ain't on here whining and crying about the shit? Because the shit is legit. And then, and then, and it's not because they don't like them because they don't like the lies they tell. That's what they're doing. They don't like being lied to. They don't like a motherfucker putting out a flyer for an event and don't have no details on there, but the motherfucking price. How fucking stupid do you, you think because the motherfucking Melometers was stupid enough to bring their ass down there to Huntsville for your bullshitting ass podcast, you thought you was about to slick them into some old shit because you got that hermit to get the Melometers to buy the, the, the snots chocolate in the bottle, you think they gonna continue to keep on being absent-minded to this bullshit that you got put planned? They're sick of that shit. The few that had the hope of you is gone. Those people put their feelings about you and the way you operate and the way you treated those women on that show to the side to come and support your damn event just for when they get back, you striking the fucking millimeters channels. 
So wait till your karma circle back, punk, because that's what it looked like is going on. And like I said, we're going to talk about it at the end. Okay? You do not have to like them, and that's fine. Why sit up here and attack anything associated with them? Contact the brands. Why do you sit up there and let them put this bullshit out? Why would you, as a production company, let them put that flyer out with no fucking information? Why would you let them do that? Dr. Heavenly, since you, you know, you getting paid by Amazon or whatever the fucking case may be, when the last time you got an invite to a sponsored event a week in advance? Because the people that told them about the, their, their expos, they told them they had their shit lined up a year in advance. They had their speakers in place. They couldn't put shit on the fucking event because they ain't had shit to put on the event. And I'm going to tell y'all why at the end. Okay? And get them removed. That's not okay. If my brain drops... They wasn't removed. They was never fucking there. That was never their location. So they wasn't removed from that location. They never had it. They never secured it. They put out a fucking fake ass location and people called to make to verify. You ever do that? I would I would be like, what are y'all doing? It's not okay to do that. First of all, let's clear that shit up again because you don't have raindrops, Carlos. You don't. You don't have any fucking raindrops. Okay? And let's say you did have two raindrops. Who the fuck is you to tell somebody to do something? Just because you say don't do that, I would tell them back off. Who the fuck you supposed to be? You don't tell nobody what the fuck to do. And I don't know why y'all think Melody tell the Melometers what to do. We react off what the fuck we see. Okay? Because we ain't seen, we ain't never seen you tell nobody to back the fuck up off of her ass. And again, people keep having to remind y'all that y'all are the reasons that she even got a fan base. Because of y'all deplorable ass treatment of fucking black women on that damn show. Particularly her. So don't try to tell her to activate now. She ain't saying shit. She already told you last summer. She ain't saying shit. Because when her but when her back was against the wall and y'all motherfuckers had teamed up and was bullying her, who the fuck was there for her? Not y'all. Damn sure not y'all. Didn't know what was happening. Absent-minded ass. It was the millimeters. And like she said last year, she would be damned if she ever tell them not to do something. This ain't hurting nobody. Calling that place ain't hurting no motherfucking body. All they have to do is confirm this is the location of the event. And they should be expecting those type of calls. Because people might want to do business there and get a room there or whatever the case may be or come and dine in that area. That's what the fuck they, that's their due diligence. Shit, they done have fucking damn near six damn locations for this damn event and it's only been out for damn two weeks. Nobody should be assaulting people like that. It's crazy. To That's me. not an assault. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. But I wanted to say for the record, you didn't make me do that event. Those people no. are They said that Amazon's backing the event. Dr. Heavily, we need you. They paying me to do it and, I, and I'm coming on. What people? What those people? Because you didn't say nothing about this fucking event before last week. So what people was asking you to get on this thing that just came up? So now y'all trying to act like Amazon putting this shit together? Get the fuck out of here. I love them, but they started texting me and saying, why are you doing I love 
love Melody. Melody's my girl. That's who I love. We right? all love. The thing is this. I love Melody. You love Melody. We love Marceau. You like. You see how he said we love Marceau? Who the fuck is we? And again, why are you bringing Melody up in this? She don't have shit to do with this. She don't have shit to do with this expo. She don't have shit to do with you letting them Scots come on that motherfucking line every fucking day. Nothing. It's okay, guys, to like somebody. To have an opinion, but, right? But that's the reason why people like to say, Carla loves all the girls. That's what I knew was a problem when y'all take me loving someone as negative. And, and, and that's why I say to people, you some some people, not all, some of y'all go way too far with it. So, again, y'all want to make it seem like Carla's pink. Is y'all, let's, let's talk about going too far, okay? Because I have noted a couple... That I had to write down a couple things that was too motherfucking far. But I ain't hear shit from Carlos. Let's revisit. Okay? So you saying the reality fans are going too far, taking it too far. Cursing people with karma is going to get their ass. Let's see what karma going to have in store for your bitch ass when the going too far goes wrong, okay? Because was it too far when that whole entire cast was bullying Melody and Kiki? That wasn't too far. That wasn't an attack, right? When Wanda Cousin said he had them choppers for Melody, and then we had his three musketeer looking ass on that damn show. That wasn't too far. Or was it too far when Wanda was screaming that Mel was a hoe? All up and through the YouTube street, Instagram street, on Love and Marriage Huntsville. When Hotel was the one that was cheating on her. And you calling the wife a hoe? It never even called the mistress a hoe. How does that work? How far was that? Yet. Show enough was rewarded with a segment on your little nightcap. Was it too far when you allowed Tisha to sit on that stage on your nightcap and said that Mama Van busted low and spread it wide? Somebody's mother that's a God-fearing woman that's very respectable and classy. You set your bitch ass up there and let Tisha say that disgusting ass shit about somebody's mother. And that mother had never disrespected none of y'all stupid motherfuckers on that show. None of y'all. But that wasn't too far. You said nothing. You sat there and let her say that shit. Or was it too far when you let that whole group of guys on that show sit at that fucking table and talk underneath Mama Van clothes about who she was screwing and who she wasn't screwing and whatever was going on. That wasn't too far, though. Okay. Or what about when y'all brought Mama Van Stalker to the damn show that was terrorizing her and her daughter for damn near three damn years? Was that too far, Carlos? No? Okay, let's move on. How about when Martel got physical with the pregnant lady behind every scene, behind every man show, 
on the set. I believe that was a, a pregnant woman that he pushed. And when he damn near jumped on the makeup artist at the reunion with the execs there. Was that too far? Or no? Nah? Okay, not too far. Okay, okay. Let's let's keep it going. Was it too far when you let the snots call Kiki basically a, re a modern day crackhead on that reunion stage with nothing to back the shit up with or nothing? Be and you had her take a drug test to say she was clean of drugs. It don't matter if the methadone came back clean or not. I did a video about the methadone and why it would come back clean on one of those drug tests. If you want to see it, go look at it. Um, but they were accusing her of being on drugs, not methadone. So the drugs came up clean. Why did you continue to let them spew that shit about her being on them? You said nothing. You let them push that narrative this whole fucking last season. You even let Tisha say that shit about Stormy. But it was too far when she said it about Stormy, per Marceau. But it wasn't too far when she said it about her own fucking cousin. And I'm quite sure she got that shit from Marceau, what she said about Stormy. But that wasn't too far. Y'all know that wasn't too far. Was it too far when Martell was allowed to scream in just about every fucking woman's face on that show, particularly Mel, Mama Van, and Miss Nell? Like, he was about to beat their asses. But somehow, that was not too far. Or... Was it too far when he was about to release Revenge P on his ex-wife to prove that she was cheating on him? But it was a video of him and her. Not too far. You're not outraged about that. No comments about that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, what about... When Mel had to get emergency custody of the kids for the 56 days because Martell had beat the shit out of one of them. Was that too far? Did he go too far? I, I mean, just two weeks ago, it was an article showing current court papers of him beating and twisting the fucking kids. What that means, I still don't know. But what I do know is that Carlos don't think that's too far. He don't think it's too far. And did y'all notice how he said, we love Melody and... We, you know, also love Marceau. He changed, he was going to say Martel, but he changed it to Marceau. In my opinion, I, thought, I think he was going to say Martel. But he quickly switched it to Marceau. When those are the things that we're not even talking about together again. Okay? But, I just want to know too, was it too far when you had those millimeters at that podcast supporting your raggedy ass? just for them to get back home and you strike them. Was that too far? Let us know what the fuck too far means to you, Carlos. We don't need no damn directions from you on how to treat any damn body. Okay? Let's do that. And y'all... Let me get to the main thing, okay? I feel with this hostility that Carlos has recently, I'm feeling like he's been fired or demoted, okay? 
it's something going on with him because he's too uh, he's upset he's really upset and I don't know how to take it like it's it's he's mad mad okay and it's clear that he's upset and it's clear that he's upset with Melody He's trying to mask it as something, but in my opinion, he's upset because he wouldn't have struck them channels. Discovery wouldn't have been struck and striking channels. It goes back to what we were saying. It seems like they're trying to clean up the channels that had clips of Martel's abusive behavior on the show, and they're trying to um, clear the internet of it. So they did those strikes to remove those pieces, those segments from our videos, because I think they're trying to clear the internet of that. And this is what I think also. I think that now Carlos production team is probably only filming some people on the show. Some of the, they probably only like, they probably downgraded to only a certain part of the, the cast. And I'm thinking that maybe Tilted Crowns or another production company may have the, the rights over Melody and the filming and stuff like that. Because, like I said, he's upset. He's upset. Something has happened. SW, they didn't came out against him. Okay. The tarot card lady, she mentioned something about something going on with Carlos and Martel with somebody at that show. And I really think that he has been taken his production company. That's my beverages. They falling because some of them are, it's just falling. But um, Carlos is demoted from being the only production company on Love and Marriage Huntsville. We'll see when the credits get to roll in next season because he filmed that fucking podcast for the show. Now he's saying he's putting it on his YouTube channel. To me, that means that they were like, no, no, you're not putting that on the show. Your, your production company cannot do the film this for the show. Your is not going to be your production company, probably because it involved male. So now he's mad and he's going to put it on YouTube instead of having it on the show. They turned it down, I believe. So now his team is going to use it for his YouTube channel and not for the show, which he originally oops, originally said that's what it was going to happen. The cast. Think about this. So y'all know Mel has those events or whatever um, that she has this weekend. But her Sharnita's World was coming, is coming out on the 23rd. The 24th, she has an event um, in her hometown in Alabama. And um, if I find a fire, I'll post it. But she has an event that weekend. The Snots all of a sudden had an event this weekend. Now, we know Melanie and them shit be posted already. So, I think this expo that they're trying to have in Atlanta was a quick thing because y'all see they didn't even have speakers or location or none of that it seems like Mark carlos told them hurry up and get something out so we can get people to come to this event because he wanted to try to outshine melody's event because what would be the reason for all the cast members? that's three separate cast members that's having events on the same fucking day mel mark the scots and then um and then martell all of them having 
events on the same day like that's not even showing like the cast can't even show up to support each other those are events that the cast would be at right and then I heard that the entire cast was invited to that podcast but probably since they didn't show up or only Stormy and Moses them showed up and then I guess whatever might have happened with him not being able to put that on the show because it was Melody involved, he might have something to where he cannot produce any scenes with Melody in them. He's given, he's given jilted. It's given the same thing when you got fired from Bravo. I mean, retired. I mean, <clears throat> quit from Bravo. It's given the same tease. You fucking mad. You got an attitude. What you mad about? You did this shit to your fucking self. Did you think that people was going to continue to sit there and let you abuse this motherfucking lady on in front of our face? Did you think that shit was going to keep going on? Did you think that network was going to keep allowing that shit to go on before they had some consequences and them pockets got hit? Some orders have come down, in my opinion, from the fucking top. And he's pissed now. Why would they have three different damn cast members? Three events. Same fucking weekend. No, they don't do that. Because you see the entire cast is supporting this person and going to this event. The entire cast is going to the, like they had the entire cast there last at the, um, expo last time so why would it be different this time i don't think kimmy and maurice is full-time cast anymore um and i think that kimmy probably bowed out because you see only maurice is speaking at the expo why why kimmy ain't there it's giving weird and, and or they may not even be cast anymore at all it's giving they're not going to be there. And I don't know what Martell got going on because I heard that um, Stormy, um, Stormy invited Destiny and Destiny invited Martell to come to her event. I heard she didn't invite Martell. So I don't know what's going on. And that picture of, Mar um, of Martell um, with Stormy at that event, he looks so fucking bad. Let me see which phone it's in. Tisha look bad as fuck too. Look at her. A booger bear. It's in this phone. Let me show y'all really quick before I get out of here. Because Martell looked really bad in this photo with Stormy. Where the fuck is the picture? I don't know where the picture is. Yeah, but he looks so bad. Yeah, I think Martell on that shit, in my opinion. But yeah, um, if I find a picture, I'll put it up here because I don't know where the hell I had it at. Um, and it's not in these phones, and there's only two phones I got. Oop, I got a new phone. Mm. But anyway, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Carlos and what he feel like is too damn far. And what do y'all think about my theory that Carlos may be off of production? His production team may be off of anything that have to do with Melody on that damn show. 
Like he like part time or something. And do y'all think Tilted Crown's production is is doing the produce producing for Melody's um scenes on the show? What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comment section below, y'all. We about to get into it, okay? Like this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, y'all. Bye.